Assalamu alaikum student. Today is your lesson number one of chapter number six, editing text in Word 2013. Learning objectives. Today we will learn the definition of Microsoft Word 2013, some of the basic features of Microsoft Word 2013. What is Microsoft Word 2013? Microsoft Word 2013 is a program that helps us to type words on a computer. With this program, we can type essays, letters, poems, and much more. It is just like a piece of paper on which you can write your essays, you can make a drawing, you can write letter, poem, you can do your maths work, English work, rough work, everything you want to do. Okay? So same is the working of Microsoft Word 2013 which is a program that helps us to type words on a computer. Let's see some of the basic features of Word 2013. The first basic feature of Word 2013 is how to start Word 2013, how to create a document in Word 2013, and how to save a document in Word 2013. How to save or open Word 2013. This is our first feature of Word 2013. Step number one, click on the start button. This is your start button. When you click on the start button, in the search program bar, you have to type Word 2013. When you type here Word 2013, a folder will appear here with the name of Word 2013. You can click on it. When you click on it, the Word 2013 screen will appear. This is your Word 2013 screen. Steps to open Word 2013 program are Click on Start button Click on Search program bar, type Word 2013 Click on Word 2013 program the Word 2013 screen will appear. The second feature of Word 2013 is how to create a new document in it. There are two ways to create new document in Word 2013. Let's see the first way. Step number one, using first way to create new document in Word 2013 is click on the blank document this is your word 2013 screen on this screen this is your blank document either you can click on blank document or you can click on any of the others available here after clicking on the blank document this screen will appear which is your new document here you can do your work the second way the first step using second way to create a new document in Word 2013 is click on the File tab. This is the File tab. After clicking on the File tab, click on New Option. This is the new option. After that, click on Blank Document. After clicking on Blank Document, this is your new document. This is screen will appear where you can do your work. This is your new document. Some important steps to create a new document. First, you have to know how many ways are there to create a new document in Word 2013. Yes, there are two ways to create a new document in Word 2013. Let's see the steps to create new new document in Word 2013 using first way. Click on the blank document. The screen that appears is your new document of Word 2013. The second way to create a new document in Word 2013 has the following steps. Click on the File tab, click on New, click on the blank document. The screen that appears is your new document of Word 2013. Now let's learn the third feature of Microsoft Word 2013, that is how to save a document in Word 2013. The step number one is this is the quick access toolbar located at the top left corner of the screen 
of the World 2013 screen. This is the Save As button. You can click on it as your first step to save document. Or you can do the first step in another way also. That is, click on the File tab. It is up to you. It is your choice. You can follow step number one of your choice. After that, the second step is to click on Save As button. And the third step is to write file name and click on file, Save. Let's learn it more clearly. Important steps to save Word document. Let's see the first way to save your Word document 2013. Click on the Save As button available on the Quick Access toolbar on the top, top left corner of the Word screen. This is the Quick Access toolbar. Here is a button known as Save As button. You can click on it. After that, this screen will appear on which after following this first step of first way to save Word document, you have, when you have this screen, you can, you can just go here. Click on any folder where you want to save your document. For example, there are a number of folders you want to save your document on. Then click on download, download it. If you want to download it, then click on download, documents, and desktop. These are the folders. It is up to you where you want to locate your document. After that, when you click on any of the one folder, this screen will appear, known as Save As Screen. Here you can write your file name, then click on Save As on the bottom of the screen. Let us see the second way to save your Word document 2013 more clearly. You can click on the File tab. This is the File tab. After that, this is your file tab. After clicking on it, click on Save As option. In this screen, using second way, click on Save As, click on Save As option. This is the Save As option. After clicking on Save As option, click on any folder where you want to save your document. For example, on Download, Document or Desktop, anyone. These are the folders. Now write your file name in the Save As dialog box. This is the Save As screen that appears when you click on any of the folder. When this screen will appear, you can write your file name in a Save As dialog box. This is the Save As dialog box. You can write your file name here. After that, click on the Save As on the bottom of the screen. This is the save as on the bottom of the screen. Now let's recap. What we learned today, definition of Microsoft Word 2013, some basic feature of Word 2013 that are how to open Word 2013, how to create a new document in Word 2013, and how many ways are there to create a new document in Word 2013. Also, how to save document in Word 2013. Students, what you have to do, you have to clearly listen and watch the video. After that, open your notebook and make a title page of chapter number 6, Editing Text in Word 2013. Read this note carefully. What you can do, you can either do a photocopy or carbon copy or print out. Any one of these, any one, of, any one you prefer to do of this picture, then paste it in your notebook with the heading given below. Which heading? This, MS Word 2013 main screen.
All you have to do is to take a printout of this picture or you can make a carbon copy or photocopy. It's up to you. Then paste it in your notebook with the heading of MS Word 2013 main screen. So this is your homework for today. Write day, date, day and homework heading. After that, write the topic name, basic feature of Word 2013. The question number one is, write down all the steps to open Word 2013. How many steps are there? Yes, there are four steps. You have to write all the steps here. Question number two, in how many ways we can create a new document in Word 2013? As we have learned, there are how many ways? Yes, there are two ways. So you have to write yeah, there are two ways to create new document in Word 2013. Okay, question number three, write the steps to save Word document 2013 using second way. There are how many ways to save new document? Yes, there are two ways. But what, what is the question? Write the steps to save Word document 2013 using second way. You have to write the second way only. How many steps are there in the second way? There are five steps in the second way. Okay. So this is all for now class. Hope you can understand this. Class, thank you so much.